Right, so it's time to test this out and actually make sure it's working. Now, the first thing we want to do is actually run the server because we've not done this just yet. So we're going to come over to the Laravel WebSockets on Forge server. Uh, we're going to come over to the daemon section here and we're going to add the command that we would normally run locally. But of course, now we're just creating a daemon which will allow us to always have this running. So if it does fail, it will just start itself back up again. So let's go ahead and run PHP Artisan WebSockets and serve. We're going to run this with the Forge user because they'll have permission. And we're going to go into home, into Forge and into nuxcast.com. So remember, we're running this on our main server, not on that socket subdomain. But because the socket subdomain exists on the same server, we're still going to be hitting that port. So we can just run it on our base app here. So we don't need to worry about too much else here. We're just going to go ahead and hit start. And once this has gone ahead and installed, what we want to do is just make sure that we have a little bit of uptime. So you can verify that by clicking status and just making sure that this has successfully run. And you've got the process ID there as well if you need to kill that uh, manually by SSH into your server. OK, so now that we've done this, uh, the other issue here is that uh, on our client, we are still connecting to nuxcasts.com. So we're going to need to change that over as well to reference the subdomain that we've created. So let's come over to our main site just here, open up our environment and let's scroll all the way down to nuxcast.com and switch that over to socket.nuxcast.com. So let's save that out and hit yes and just wait for that to finish. So now that that is done, we need to deploy this, redeploy this because the JavaScript will need to pick up from that configuration. Uh, remember over on the main site here, we are running npm run prod. So all we need to do is just deploy this, wait for it to finish, and we're going to go over to the client and check that everything is working. OK, so that has deployed. So that would have switched the domain we're connecting over to. We've got our WebSocket server running. So if we give this a refresh, sure enough, we see a 101 status. And that means that what we can do is go ahead and duplicate this tab, go ahead and hit the broadcast route that we created earlier locally, head over to our console, and sure enough, we see that is works dumped out. So that is our Laravel WebSocket server successfully up and running using an Nginx proxy. And now you can just go ahead and start developing and building whatever you need to.